Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to try out this amazing feature inside the newly released Smart EQ4. It's got this uh, amazing capability to balance your track with its intelligent suggestions. My name is Coinex and I'm happy to have you guys back here. So with that being said, let's dive right in. Now, take a quick look at the screen. Inside FL Studio, I've got a raw project for today's demo. It's unbalanced, unmixed, just the way we want it for this experiment. But before we jump in, let me give you a sneak peek. Now, let me quickly turn back on the effects. We are going to set it up now. Then after that, we process it and do A, B test. The first thing we are going to do is to come to the master channel where we have smart EQ inserted. Let me reset this. All right, the first thing to do is to head down to this feature. That's the new feature they talked about. And as you can see, it says add to group. You click on it, you name your group. I'm gonna call it uh, I'm going to call it mix because this is where the whole element of this track is going to come out. Just more like the master out. Okay. Now it came in labeled. The reason is because I've done that before, but if it didn't label it, I will just double click there and rename it to mix. Okay. That's just my own way of keeping everything organized so that I don't get confused. So now we click on add instance and automatically you see them, right? They are labeled because I've already done this before. Let me drag them over first. And I will also explain the reason why I drag them over here. And also to add, label your individual channels on the Misa track. I've had labeling them beforehand might save you some hassle, but I'll leave that to your discretion. So what I do to label all these things is I will solo each channel. Let's say I will solo the kick, which is this one right here. Then I'll play. If you observed, it's coming out from two different points here, which is the mix and here, which is the kick. The reason it's coming out from the mix is because just like your master out, where everything will output from, okay? So now you see it's coming here, then you can now label it accordingly. Kick, you do the same to other elements identify them and then label them. So once you've labeled them, the next thing you need to pay very close attention to is, let me close this window. If you observe here, let me try and expand this. If you pay very close attention here, it's very faint. It says front, this one says middle, and this other one says back. Now let's talk about the importance of the front, the middle, and the back layers. The front layer gets the highest priority. The middle layer blends well and the back layer sits in the background. I just made it that simple. But if you want to know in depth about what they are talking about, just hover your mouse over on those areas. You will see a detailed information about them. And according to them, this placement, which is the front, the middle and the back, contributes heavily in determining a balanced mix when using Smart EQ4. So now the front, of course, is where Smart EQ will have more and more focus. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put more of the things on the front so that we can hear exactly how far Smart EQ can go in really processing the sound. Okay, so let me transfer them to front. All right, so now we have everything on the front layer. The next step here is to play your track and click on learn. So let's Let's do that.
All right, let's compare the before and the after. This is without smart EQ. Pretty impressive, right? And here is the cool part. You can tweak the EQs right from this window. Shape it the way you want, make it dynamic or static by clicking there and engaging right here. Just click there. It's dynamic. If you don't want it, you switch it back to static. The choice is yours. And that's a wrap for today's video. Download Smart EQ4, give it a spin, share your thoughts in the comment section, and let's learn from each other. Stay creative, stay focused, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.